1961 when I started the farm. I had a salesman come in and uh, he spent uh, half an hour with me and uh, uh, talked over what the co-op was all about. And I, I think mainly because it was run by farmers and uh, um, that, that was really what interested me. You're not taking uh, suggestions or orders from higher ups that don't have a clue of really what's going on down on the farm. John has been part of our co-op system in Mount Forest here especially 23 years. He's a, a very well-known person in the community. He's uh, done everything for us. I got to know everybody there and um, products that they handled and, and then they, uh, they asked me if I would be interested in being a director. I come on the board in 1980. Um, the first few years were tough. Um, things were tough on the farm and they gradually picked up uh, on the farms and then the co-op started doing better too. I served as president in 1985 and 86. Then I sat on just about every committee, uh, maybe more than once. Some of them I never really got off. We purchased the stores at Hanover and Durham and uh, that's that's been a good thing too. It is very uh, interesting to see John around the store here. He chats with uh, non-members and tells them how memberships work. He's collected memberships even though he's a past director he is still quite involved with the co-op and likely always will be. <laughs> We would invite maybe 12 neighbors. I think they like coming here because uh, Anne would always serve up a good lunch and uh, everybody likes to eat. The Mennonites are very loyal to us. Their needs are a little bit different than ours when it comes to products. We want to make sure that we have them satisfied. I'm very pleased about re receiving this award. All the things that I did for the co-op, I didn't really look for for any special recognition, I, en I enjoyed uh, all that too, uh, very much.